where many lack the knowledge and zeal to start it up. Coming up on Seeds of Gold. My market they just look after me here. Very many people know me that if you want to improve gold, you come. Today, we meet a primary five dropout who is living a decent life largely because of the idea of wearing goats. Michael Emotuapate is from Merok village, Soroti, where his goat farm is located. When I was in, when I was in transmission as a castle laborer, so we were moving all over Uganda. So when I walked there, I saw how people were benefiting. Then I also said, no, I should also go back home. And I try to plan to see that in case if I grow old, I will come back and look after this, not even struggling to look for another job going that I'm going to Kampala, I'm going where to look for work when I can also do such that kind of a project. But now I'm trying it slowly, slowly. I'm seeing things are coming. To start up an enterprising business, Michael says that you do not have to start with so much. He started with one goat which he bought at 150,000 shillings and now boosting of 60 goats and still counting. I started with one goat. Then from there, if it produces, they produce this slowly, slowly. Until right now, they are about to see Kiste. It depends. Some people start from up, some people start from down. 500,000, you can start with that. And it needs you to be a patient because with the goat. If you are missing only food, you go and sell because of buying food, then you will not manage this project. It needs you when you, you also patient somewhere, somehow. Mm. In goat farming, the need for exotic breeds cannot be ignored. The boar breed, for example, is among those most sought after, and Michael could not but take a chance to invest in such so as to realize an improved quality from his local breeds. I'm now improving them. I started with the local. I started with the local goats, but right now I'm removing the locals. I'm now trying to improve them. I got an a, a, a improved one, a, 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 there is a one called Boas, that, that Boas, they gave me from nuts. I would know I cannot keep it well, then he, di he, he died, then I bought mine with the money because I wanted to improve my goods. I bought it 250. Somebody told me that a goat they doesn't want to, to sleep down at least it needs goats to sleep up so i just thought of this then i said if i do like this can i manage cannot i cannot manage then i start planning even i brought this this the, the people who helped me to build this house for them they did not know for me i know i don't know how to build but i was the one telling them the way i want i say now this thing I know if we, we put these poles like this, then we, uh, we, we put those timbers. I think those ghosts can sp sleep there well. Then I brought them. I was the one telling them the way I want the thing. Automatically I saw uh, the thing it is now okay. And I'm now planning even to, to, incre to, to increase. With just two years into the business, he boasts of benefits he would otherwise never have realized if not for God rearing. In fact, I've benefited a lot. It has made me to take my children to school. If I'm broke, if there's no money, I just sell something like five, I get money, children go to school. For every, at home, they also, home is covered because if there is a problem, just come and sell. Whatever I can sell, that's, I get money to cover my problems at home. With a gestation period of twice a year, goats give birth to either two or three kids every season, although this could be higher with better breeds. If we, the, the male one is there, 
uh, it can take it six months to have again a year they produce twice a year they can produce twice even this goes a year if they if the the, female, the male one is there it produces to the a year it, they produce twice some produce three some produce two those are especially goats but with the sheep okay some are, some produce one one then some are two i've not got the one produces three when is a thief, but the goats, those ones are there, can produce three, three, not four, five, I'm not yet. But in, I'm also praying, but I know in the future I will get, because now I'm trying to improve. If I get some, some who has, who produces three, four, I buy. But has he decided to put all his eggs in one basket? In fact, I'm not, not, not on the goat farming, even, even, even the cows, even the produce, I do that one also at home where I am. Why I have chosen to bring this one here? Because at home they, are, they, they normally destroy crops. So now uh, produce I've left somewhere where, where I am. But now I brought this farm here because it's near to the lake. Near Bigger also, I have I've started. I've started. And even the structure, I've already laid the structure of five rooms. That one, I started it, but why I left, first of all, because the food, food was not there. You know, the pigs need the maize bran. And if there is no maize bran, you cannot do well. Even in, even looking after chicken, I have those ones even I had, but I sold them, then I first stopped because there were no maize. There were no maize brand. If you go there to the town, people from Kenya comes and buy in a, in a higher price. So if you, st if you, if you buy and you, you start, you cannot benefit. That's why I first left, but I have not left. I have not left that one also. If we, if we have time, we can go there and I show you the way I've started. But now here, I'm focusing on this because it doesn't disturb you with the feeding. Feeding, they just feed themselves. Grass we have. When we return, Michael talks to us about the importance of spraying and how he connects with his market. You don't have to look any further. Get online and you'll get any property. It's all about joinery. How best do you give a tree a very good second life? Because there's already development happening around. Say for example, carpets, thick, luxurious carpet, and you say, I've got to have a carpet both wall in my house, but we're a hot country. Welcome to the property show, where we make real estate sense. Don't miss the next episode of Coke Studio Africa. Where music meets. Pinsika Poultry International, leading supplier of pelleted broiler feed, layer mash, concentrated feeds, day old broiler, and layer chicks, pig feed, and dairy meal. For inquiries on all our products and branch information, please contact 0791-112227. Email info at beansica.co.ug or visit www.beansica.co.ug. Beansica Poultry International. Happy chicks, happy life. Tonight on NTV is brought to you by... Yeah, Uganda. <laughs> the taste of Uganda. Tonight on NTV. What on earth is going on here, Monte Cristo? Who gave you permission to organize a party? We have so much to celebrate. Celebrate what? What do you think? 
that I would allow something so important to pass by unannounced? No. Helena, we are going to have a baby, and I want the whole world to know and celebrate with us. Are you, have you gone crazy? First of all, this baby isn't yours. It's mine. And only I will decide everything that has to do with him. Tonight on NTV. Plascon, color your world. Kabaka lambu de sazali chadondo. Akati di zobo kuru wabulungi bwansi. Police kubaga jin pawa kuchoksa zamu mukolo gokwe buza kubalunzi e kasese. Akuri yolo dolofu ganya mnyanya mifu. Baba ke mube ndebe buziza kubakule mbeze kubaguli okujie kuma ukumia kajio mkule mbeze wikuanga. Ogenda kulaba indo uza zawe. Mbeda yombaka nambo zere mele daba sao bakono. Mbamujuli za guangali ya buyindi. Five years. The same products you've trusted to color your world. But now, with a new name, Plascon, color your world. As any good farmer, Michael acknowledges the importance of using sprays for his animals and how easy it is for his market to locate him. I have my doctor. After, after three months, he comes and vaccinates. And he has advised me to spray them after two weeks. I come and spray. Two weeks, I come and spray. There are some projects. They come and they give me money. Then I also supply. I also supply. If they come, I give them, they give me money. They came while looking for those improved goats. Then I gave them this small, small one. The prices, if you want improved one, for six months, you give me 150, 150, 200 for six months for the improved one. But this is local ships. Those ones they give me at the rate of 60, 60. If there is any project, the big ghost, these ones are for 200, 200 thousand each. Uh, those ones I can take to the market. I take to the market in Katina market. Sometimes I take to go to boy, or to boy market. As a way of being innovative, after six months he collects two to three lorries of his good dung and uses it on his other firm enterprises. He explains. The droppings, this one has taken for me now six months. For six months I remove something like one to two lorries, tippers. I picked this one just, just yesterday. I, I, took, I took 
three lorries, three lorries of this, and I've taken to my to my farm at the, at home to to spread in the garden, such that I get. Fertilizer. As a self-taught farmer, he confesses that he still needs a lot of support to improve on the quality of his stock. For me, what I normally do, I just imagine and say, Let me, I want to do something like this. But there is no any workshop I've attended since I started this. I want to improve in my technology, but the problem which I have, time. And that one also needs a support. If there is no support, you cannot go that I want, to, I want you people to do what? It needs a support. So I don't have any support. I do this through just my, my tech. I just think and I say, let me do something. If I do something like this, I will be like this. Michael is not living in self-pity for not having a formal education, but has instead used his life challenges to teach himself through his occupations. And as such, he has some advice for anybody who would relate to his experience. My level of education, I just ended in P5. During surgency, my father left me when I was in P4. He died. He was being killed. So I tried it. Nobody could take me to school. Then I said no. Not, not saying that only education can make somebody to be somewhere. That's why I decided to do this. Michael Emoto has clearly shown that even without a formal education, the biggest asset you will always have is your brain. So it's time to get it working. This one doesn't need any paper, but it needs you to, to, to see that. What should I do? What should I do to make my future at least better? Not only to see that because I'm not going to school, let me just sit and say, oh, I'm not going to school, I cannot do anything. And his future plan about the water irrigation is well mapped out. We have free water down there. We have free water down there, but what I'm planning, I'm planning to, to put my, my water here. In the future, uh, I'm going to put there a pump with the, with the solar, such that they, don't, they will not be taking water from down there, they will be taking what, their water from here. They will be taking their water from here. Well now my project has enlarged because I'm, start, I'm still starting. That money I don't have, but in future I know I will have. There are some who has a small, 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 small goes. Those ones doesn't go to, 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 to the swamp. Those ones remain home. So where I will put water, where they also drink water from. That is where they drink water from. Ask the expert. Is brought to you by Pizika Poultry International. Happy chicks, happy life. We now get an expert opinion from Mr. Chigoe Godfrey, an agribusiness consultant about goat rearing. Uh, in fact, if we are to go goat farming, two things we need to, to look at. Am I going into it as a commercial business, I an mean, uh, uh, entity? Am I going into it as a plastic? So if we are to go into it as a business, there are some factors we need to look at it. First, you look at the numbers. You cannot have two goats and you tell me you are doing a serious farm or you are doing a business. We look at the numbers. And when you look at the numbers, there are factors also you need to look at. Do you have land as the first factor? Do you have where to put it? One thing I need to look at, I mean to talk about, is the, okay, we have breeds. We have local breeds and exotic breeds we are going to talk about. But when we look at numbers, we need to have, you know, goats are blousers. They need to eat on trees. Okay? They climb, they eat on, they go on just a, a, a hunt hills, they, something of that kind. They need a fine type of feed. So you need to know that I have land where they can go and graze and get that. Two, if you want to do it, yes, on a commercial, but on a zero grazing system, yes, you can grow feeds for them. But when you are growing feeds for them, you make sure that you grow feeds that suit their needs. Because as I told you, their blouses, you grow a misasa, you grow a, 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 a steria, you grow style, you grow desmodiums, so that they can, you can get them, you chop, chop, you give them, they get fine leaves, they enjoy always. Chop, 
put in their feed, feeders, but still get some uh, 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 branches of trees and then you, you hang it up so that they can blouse, so that they can get their exercise they need as they do blousing. Two, we talked also about the breeds. We have local breeds, the Mubende, we have the, the Angola, then we have the exotic breed like Boas, we have Savannah, we have, there are so many. So sometimes if you are doing it on a commercial basis, we introduce, like when we look at the other uh, a friend of mine, Michael, who created the uh, remember and said, ah, let me go to go to farming. He started with one. He had got a boa from, say, uh, said nuts, but now he has about 60 goats, yes. So close breeding is a key so that you can have a breed that can resist our environment here because most of the exotic breeds they need sophisticated kind of environment where you need to feed with the water some they need to feed on nipples because those are the style where they come from they need but if you cross breed a boa plus a movende goat you get oh, a, a, a movende goat with a savanna you get a breed when we got a quality in zunganda Nanda, Singanda, and Zungus, we say a bit local and a bit exotic, a breed that can grow very fast, can put on weight. Gone are the days people used to see goats, when we talk about goats, they know goats can only weigh to a maximum of 10 or 15 kilograms. But today we have a goat that can weigh 30 kilograms. Boa goats, savannah goats. But if you close, you can, can have a breed that can at least go to 35, but it can resist also diseases. Because there are diseases that attack when they go outside there, when they are grazing. So we need also to talk about the structures. Yes, they are grazing, they, are go, they go out to graze, but when they come back, they should at least sleep in a, a unit. You need to raise the unit so that they don't sleep on the ground, so that when they urinate, the urine goes down and then the surface where they sleep it remains dry always and when they put i mean they put droppings down there when we are putting up that unit it is at about two feet to three feet above the ground and then when we are putting that platform say use uh, sometimes we use off cuts from trees when you are putting up such we need also always to put a gap of just eh? Or you put a, a, pen, a pen or a pencil and then you put another off cut. So that gap is enough to allow the dropping to pass through and then go down. As we are using a broom, it goes down. I mean, the droppings pass via the, the gaps and then go down. And in the case you find their kids inside there, in that gap, they cannot put in their feet so that they can get such, get such problems. So also, Putting up units also a key. The market is there, especially for the exotic goods. Me, because I've been this for some good time, maybe I'm known. May I have the market. But viewers out of there, they may not have a market for these big goods, but the, for the local goods. I know here in Uganda we have a place called Wambus. Wambus in each you there. They buy whatever number you have. So the market is there. The price ranges from the size. If you have a goat that weighs five kilograms, that is the, the commander you are likely to get. If you are like me who has a goat that can weigh 30 kilograms, that's the man I would like, I will just get from the what? So it depends on the size of the goat. What is the range? The range is between 150 to 500. In fact, my five, the minimum of that male goat or yeah, kid yeah. goes for 500 if it's a boa and it's a he. If it is a sun, it's 600. If it's a savanna, it's a 600. Why? It is a breed, a new breed, and it's exotic breed, exotic breed. If it's a cross, a boa, and maybe a, 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 an angola or a, with a, a movende goat, eh? small, not small, big, not big. That one goes to 150 to 200. But two, 
viewers out there, don't quote me wrong. When they come to you and they are buying a goat for slaughtering, these two th different things in one. You may find that my goat that I'm selling at 500, which is five months old, it may weigh maybe be, uh, between 15 to 20 kilograms. If you are taking it for slaughter, the maximum they can give it is 150. But if I'm selling it to a breeder, he can happily give me 500 because it's going to multiply. He's taking it for another purpose. So, uh, a, a goat takes five months. It's pregnant, so it takes five months and then it gives a bath. And it remains with the kid, I mean, it leaves the kid with, I mean, for five months maximum, and then we win off. So that is its uh, uh, period it takes. You as a farmer, because me, I train also agriculture as a business. I don't believe in calling a vet doctor every time I see maybe sickness or problems on the farm. Michael that he learned from somebody that a, a po I mean, a pen, that thing is called a pen, the goat unit. A pen is supposed to be raised. So he was the one that was training builders how to do it, because he had a, an ear say that it is supposed to be raised. He didn't know how, <laughs> the height of the, the artist, the, the distance from the ground, the height, but at least he did it. That's an experience which we don't have a school here that gives experience. But we always use a uh, uh, pen and a strip. We can use pen and strip. Linigate is there. Those other calicides we use for cattle. Feeding is the its biggest factor. If you don't feed it well, it will not put on weight you need. Because in the, at the end of the day, what we need from this goat is to have a goat that you can keep to a shortest period of time, and you get what you need. Ghosts are the only animal that can survive even in the desert environment, where they are no water, weed, provide there something they can take, call it to a uh, soil, or what they can survive. So, that makes it to be a very good animal, easy animals to keep. Ask the expert. Is brought to you by Bizika Poultry International. Happy chicks, happy life next week on Seeds of Gold. Are committed to transforming livelihoods of farmers in Uganda through provision of agricultural inputs and supporting value addition for different value chains. TV, turning on your world. Sights and sounds. Sights and sounds.
sights and sounds. Sights and sounds. Sights and sounds. Sights and sounds. Sights and sounds. Sights and sounds. NTV, turning on your world. Program guide is brought to you by Disappert Yogurts. You love it. Because just a food yogurt has fruit, milk, and so much more. Mmm, it's so delicious. Just a fruit yogurt, you love it. Hi, um, I'm a winner of Mega Masape. I'm called Justin. I'm from Kajansi. I dialed star 162 hash and I opted in. Then I, I went to option two and I checked my, my target. I recharged and now I'm a winner of one million shillings. You too, you can be a winner. You can start a mum kaga biri hash, or you can't talk in the city room with the right on Mosako airtime, and I will only look for Kumwanguza Dako or a mega massape. Trust us with your cargo at the Rosalind Port. We have held the longest record of stability, safety, and friendship since 1977. Visit us at TPA offices in Tomosi Business Park, opposite Nile Breweries, Luzira Kampala. NTV, turning
on your world. TV cook Solomon quantity zero everybody you know just what the one go to second girl on a call while consuming to much time with the silver double joe cut and decay name it to me cool what all of you man to say keep you everybody joe tabad kabaka lambu de sazali echa dondo akati di zobu kuru wabulu njibwansi Polisi kubaganya mpawa kuchokusaza mu mukolo gwo kwebuza kubalonzi ekasese akuliro ludo luvuganya mu nyamifu Ababake mubende bebuziza kubakulembeze kubaguliyo kujje koma ku miyaka jyo mukulembeze yogwanga ogenda kulaba ayindo uza zabwe Embera yombaka nambo zeremere dabasawo bakuno bamujuliza gwangali abuyindi 